Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. Trying to cover up the bean from the uh, sun. It's like 90 degrees here in Tampa today. Um, I'm working on a Nissan Altima. Well, I'm about to start working on a Nissan Altima. I'm gonna show you guys a couple of things today, but before I get to detailing this car, I gotta see if I can fix this trunk lid. Let me show it to you. So it's got some uh, oxidation all over it. And so what I'm gonna try to do is bring it back. I'm gonna use my Makita rotary and some smart cut. Um, actually, I might use impeccable polish if I have some. In fact, I, I probably should do that to show that off a little bit more. But we are going to show you guys why you would need more than just the infinite use detail juice. So the other day we did a detail and we showed you that the infinite use detail juice was all you needed for a car that is very well maintained. Well, there are other supporting products that you need when you're looking to get more work done. And with that said, the more products that you need would be, and the reality is the only product that's not here right now that you potentially would need, we do not because we do mostly rinseless washing with the Gary Dean wash method. So we're using just the infinite use detail juice to wash and lube for the clay bar and all of that stuff. Uh, we do use my ultra fine grade Japanese clay for pretty much all of the claying that we do. But the only product that's not here that you potentially could need uh, to do a car that's kind of neg neglected like this Altima would be the perfect soap. That's my pink soap. It's incredibly um, lubricating, crazy suds. It's stupid concentrated. But if you're doing a traditional wash, the perfect soap is what comes into play here. You still need the detail juice as clay lube and for you know interiors and that kind of thing. So in addition to these four, you would need the perfect soap. Um, the other thing is we're gonna use a dedicated cleaner on this car uh, to clean the, uh, the wheels and get those nice and clean because they haven't been cleaned for a while. So you will need a dedicated cleaner if you've got uh, any kind of buildup of dirt and grime. So we're gonna go ahead and use that on the, um, the interior a little bit and I'm gonna clean the wheels with it. Uh, we are gonna be adding some juice boost into the infinite use detail juice. Now these dilute the same. If you're diluting this into a gallon at a time, you'd use two and a half ounces of this and two and a half ounces of this to make five ounces combined in a gallon of water. So how that really works in a jug is if the jug is 128 ounces, you'd put 120, um, 124 ounces in the jug and then put two and a half ounces of each of these in there for a total of 128 ounces to make that batch of uh, juice with boost that'll give you three to four months worth of protection out of this combo. The other thing is transform dressing. This is an incredibly dilutable product that dresses everything. I usually run it about 60% 60, uh, 60 water to 40% product uh, in a spray bottle, which I have already put together. This is how I run it right here in a spray bottle. And I spray it on tires and it looks awesome. It's really easy to do. You spray it on, let it dry, you're good to go. I, I will clean the tires with Infinite Purpose Cleaner first then dress them with transform dressing. Now I'm going to go ahead and get this rolling and show you how we're going to fix this trunk lid first. Uh, we're gonna do that with, uh, see if we have any impeccable polish in here. Uh, ooh, look at that, just enough, just the right amount of impeccable polish. That's two ounces right there, people. All right, we're gonna shake it up and uh, I'm gonna start doing some tests I'm going to start doing some tests on this uh, really oxidized, faded out trunk lid. So we'll be right back. All right. So generally, if you're using the infinite use detail juice, you would pull out the infinite purpose cleaner. What Tony's using right now on the door jams, and it's only because we already have this pre-mixed and I did not bring another bottle to do the demo on infinite purpose cleaner. Universal clean and prep, which is what she's using, one part product to seven parts water. Uh, is very similar to IPC, Infinite Purpose Cleaner. The difference between the two is Universal Clean and Prep is a little bit stronger as far as the dilution ratios go, uh, but also there's a primer in Universal Clean and Prep that helps all of our protective products bond better. Infinite Purpose Cleaner does not have that. But for all intents and purposes, cleaning power is very similar at um, IPC at one to three, 
I run IPC at one part product to three parts water. We run Universal Clean and Prep at one part product to seven parts water. So it's about twice the concentrate uh, and they're both equally as effective at that same dilution. So I got Tony wiping down the door jams with uh, Universal Clean and Prep right now, which would be the exact same situation if we had IPC in the bottle. So she's doing the interior with that, cleaning it all up. We will be wiping the interior with infinite use detail juice just to uh, remove any smudges and do the interior glass and that kind of thing. I'm actually using the infinite use detail juice right now in the wash bucket to wash this car. I have tried to polish the trunk lid with no real luck. Unfortunately, it's too hammered and really needs a respray. Uh, but you can see how dirty the car is. I haven't done this side, all the pollen and that kind of thing. Um, I am doing a rinseless wash with the Gary Dean wash method. Uh, that's pretty much how we do 90% of all of our jobs. Um, I don't really do traditional washing a whole lot. Um, the most in, uh, traditional washing I generally do is just testing stuff for the guys that I sell to that won't switch to rinseless. So anyway, um, back to getting some work done. Uh, so essentially you'd use IPC on the interior uh, to clean and I'm going to use it on the hubcaps to get a little bit cl more cleaning power. Uh, but those four products plus the perfect soap are really all you need to get anything done. Um, you don't need anything else other than those five products and really only four if you're doing rinseless. So I'm going to get back to washing and claying and then uh, I'll show you how to utilize transform dressing uh, as well as uh, juice boost in just a minute. Okay, so we got the car washed and clay barred and it's dry. So now it's time to go clean the wheels and tires. I put a sprayer on this bottle of uh, Infinite Purpose Cleaner. I'm just going to use it straight for all intents and purposes, but I usually run this one part product to three parts water. So essentially, if you took this 16 ounce bottle and divided it by four, you'd get four ounces, which is about right there. So you'd put four ounces in a bottle and fill it up with water and you got some really powerful cleaning product. So I'm going to take this to the wheels and I also have some diluted transform dressing, 40% uh, product to 60% water mixed in this spray bottle which it's that product right there. It's already pre-mixed. So we're gonna go ahead and take that over to the vehicle with a couple of brushes. Uh, one of which is the hard bristled tire brush. Um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and take a wheel face brush, just like this, drop it in the bucket. So now we're gonna go over there and knock out these wheels and tires. All right, so we're at the uh, at the wheels now. You can see how nasty they are. It's been a while since they got cleaned. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our infinite purpose cleaner right here. Um, it is ill-advised to run it at full strength because it, this formula loves water. It seems to work better the more diluted it gets. Uh, but like I said, I run it at one to three. So just spray your tires with it and it's going to break down all that browning and whatever. And then uh, go ahead and honey, can you bring me the lug nut brush, please? The purple handle. Um, so you see IPC is breaking down the dirt and that kind of thing. And so I'll take our tire brush and we'll scrub the tires. And this is gonna this is gonna prep the surface to take on the transform dressing and make it stick really well so you don't get any sling thank you babe so now I usually clean the uh, lug nut area just like so and then I take my wheel face brush and I just go in there and Scrub everything out and get it clean. Just like so. It's not difficult. And IPC makes everything come clean way faster than, well, pretty much any other cleaner. Universal Clean and Prep was uh, built on the IPC formula. Um, and that works really well. I got to get my towel. 
had to grab my towel. And uh, so, as you see, it's all pretty clean. Now I take my damp towel and I'll go in here and I'll wipe all the dirt out of the nooks and crannies of the hubcap or wheel or whatever it is you're dealing with. Uh, if this was a wheel, I probably would have done the barrels as well with a different brush. Um, but all you got to do is, I, I, in my opinion, your fingers are your best brush inside a microfiber towel, just like this. Getting everything nice and clean and looking good. The ne next step to this is using transform dressing. Everything is clean. The tires are almost dry. And so the car is all washed and dry. So now we are going to spray on our transform dressing just like so. What you wanna do is you wanna get your edges of your tires down there by the tread. Cause if you don't, you'll have dry spots and it'll look funny once you move the car. So make sure you get the whole tire saturated just like so. The cool part about transform dressing is when you spray it on, you're gonna get some on the wheel, but as this dries, all the blue from the product will go away and you won't even see it on the wheel. Doesn't matter what color the wheel is, black, silver, chrome, doesn't matter. This will dry and you won't even see the, that it's there. What you could do is come back with a damp towel and you could wipe some of that off if you prefer. Um, when I use transform, trans when I use transform dressing over, for example, the premium dressings are gonna to be tough tire gel from the uh, Signature Series or um, universal dressing from the One System, those two are quite different from transform dressing. Um, universal dressing is a concentrate, but it is completely different. This is more of a production detailers um, type, really fast, you don't have to worry about it. It does its thing, you set it, and then you can move on. So I sprayed these tires, now I can move on. I never have to come back to these, ti this, these tires after I'm done applying transform dressing and wipe anything. Uh, universal dressing, if you spray it on, you're gonna get the polymer pooling up in some of the spots where once the water has evaporated out, you then need to go back with a foam applicator and wipe it in or you just wipe on universal dressing, which is actually what I prefer to do. Transform dressing is great for mobile detailers because you just spray it on and it's done. It, it uh, basically will dry very level and any overspray you get on the wheels, like I said, just goes away. So I'm gonna go ahead and go around this car and get these done so we can move on. All right guys, so you saw me clean the wheels. We talked about the uh, cleaners on the interior and that kind of thing. Right here, I've already made up a bottle of Infinite Use Detail Juice. Uh, this actually has a half of an ounce in this bottle. Uh, all right, if you divide that 2.5 ounces that the label says right here per gallon, there's eight 16 ounces in a gallon. I put, you, you should put, put 0.31 ounce in a 16 ounce bottle. I go a little bit beyond that. I like the, uh, about the half of an ounce range. So I put um, roughly two caps in the bottle. And so what I'm gonna do is the same thing with Juice Boost. The exact same ratio, two and a half ounces to a gallon Okay, so there's one cap we're gonna put in there. Then we're gonna do another cap full. That's gonna give you right at a half of an ounce of protection in the Infinite Use Detail Juice. So it dilutes at the exact same rate, two and a half ounces per gallon. Um, on this, it says, two capfuls, and it says filled with water. So basically you run it at the same ratios, um, whether you're trying to protect or not. So now we're gonna go ahead and put this sprayer in the bottle, and we're gonna go protect this car 
with the juice boost. Now, I could have done it a different way. I could have added the juice boost into the wash bucket with the Infinite Use Detail Juice, one cap of each, and it would have gave me a great wash and clay and protect situation. But we're gonna do this just like this. So I got it all mixed up, the proper dilutions. Now we're gonna go over here, and it doesn't take a lot. I give it just a couple of light mists, just like that per panel, and then you wipe it in, just like so. Go ahead and let's show these people. So on glass, it works great. A couple of light sprays and wipe fast. If you wipe fast, you don't have any streaks at all to worry about when the sun is prematurely drying it or if the surface is hot. So just a little bit there. Wipe it in, streak free, extra gloss, looking great. Just a few sprays per panel. Wipe it in evenly. Evenly distributed product works the best. Just touch every square inch with the towel and you're good to go. Super slick when you're wiping it on. You can feel the protection being left behind. And that's it. I'm going to go ahead around the car and uh, finish this thing up. So we'll, we'll be back whenever it's done. We got this thing all complete. So I just took care of the headlights with my Milwaukee three inch rotary there. They look awesome. And I used impeccable polish. Got all the bugs off the front. Wiped the whole car down with uh, infinite use detail juice and juice boost. Uh, this is transform dressing on the tires. Do you remember? Well, I wiped it off of that one. But do you remember a couple clips ago where I was talking about the residual that you spray and it gets on the wheels? I didn't wipe this one and you can't see that it's anywhere. Tires look great, but you can't tell that the wheels had a little bit of overspray on them. The windows are all nice and good. Couldn't do too much for that trunk lid. Unfortunately, I tried to compound it, but it's just not trying to come back. It really needs a respray. So, got all that done, and she looks awesome. But that just goes to show uh, a vehicle that's not as well maintained. You can still use just a couple of more products than the Infinite Use Detail Juice and get a great thorough job done. So in the interior, Tony vacuumed everything out, hit the door jams, cleaned everything pretty good. We got the uh, screen all wiped down. Everything looks pretty good on the inside. Jams are all wiped. Dog hair all removed. Looks good. So on the interior, uh, she, she used uh, Universal Clean and Prep. But you could use uh, uh, infinite purpose cleaner for the same things carpet upholstery shampoo uh, wiping down your plastics uh, cleaning your wheels you know that kind of thing both those products are pretty interchangeable just the universal clean and prep is more concentrated a little bit stronger and has the primer that uh, IPC does not have uh, as far as wiping the interior down, we did that with the same Infinite Use Detail Juice and Juice Boost combo bottle you saw me mix. We wiped the interior with that. Juice Boost adds even more UVA and UVB protection uh, to enhance not only the protection, uh, but it will definitely help everything that you put, put it on retain its elasticity so it'll last even longer with the boost and the juice. So, transform dressing on the tires, infinite purpose cleaner as the main cleaner for the wheels and on the interior, uh, infinite use detail juice and juice boost we used as protection and lube uh, and the interior wipe down. So, uh, we also did the interior windows with that combo. So, that's it. Uh, if you were to do a traditional wash, you could have added in the perfect soap 
which uh, smells like bubble gum. It's pink, it's crazy concentrated. And I say it's the perfect soap because it's just the best possible situation for maintenance. If you're doing a traditional wash. Now we do uh, rinseless washes most of the time. So this thing's all done using four products and that's really all you need to get anything done. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and listening to me babble. Super sunny out, very nice day today, almost 90 degrees. Um, Got to keep the uh, sun off my bean. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching these videos. I appreciate you taking the time. Without you, it would be pointless to shoot them. Uh, but this is a testament to a car that was a little bit more neg neglected than the uh, BMW 128i you saw me post last week and the Ford Edge. This one was more neglected, so I had to add in some supporting products with the Infinite Use Detail Juice to get the job done. Now, again, it only took three additional products, so four total products straighten that car out. Um, the reality is I could have skipped transform dressing if I wanted to use it as a tire dressing, which on those old, old tires, uh, you're going to use a lot of the Infinite uh, Use Detail Juice to get them to dress nicely. Uh, so I decided to skip that on this particular detail and use less product. So I went with the transform dressing So that's what we did on the tires But you can also dilute transform dressing to be an interior wipe down if you like a little bit of shine um, Or you can also use it on your engine bay and interior plastics all of that stuff Transform dressing is pretty awesome. It dilutes. I want to say uh, up to uh, one to seven so pretty incredible that one bottle can make up to eight bottles of of product so um just think about that guys, using fewer products to get more done. So detailjuice.com, detailing simplicity, reimagine. That's my tagline right there, right there baby. Anyway, 813-846-4406 is my cell phone number. If I can help you in your detailing endeavors, or if I can help you with my products, or if you'd like to schedule a detail, use the number. I can't help you if you don't. But um, thanks for watching, guys. Check out Gary Dean's Detail Juice Nation. It's a group on Facebook where we talk about only my products, my processes, and what I got going on. We'll check you on the next one. Stay tuned. I got so much more coming. I am bringing back my um, Untold Truth and Detailing series, and we're going to do a lot more of these um, showing you exactly how my products operate videos. So stay tuned. Thanks, guys.